Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Gaming here. Going to be playing a little bit more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the GSM mod. Uh, so today I've got a Soviet defense up on this hilltop. Uh, don't really know why I decided to make this video. I was actually going to do a Star Wars Battlefront 2 video, but then I was like, eh. With the new Star Wars Battlefront on the way, I don't know if I want to be doing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Just for no reason. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Just I couldn't get myself to do it. Wasn't feeling it. Uh, so I decided to do this instead. Uh, so the Soviets have a backwards-facing machine gun? That's weird. Is it supposed to be that way? That's weird. Well, let's... No, that's the wrong button. Yeah. I'm trying to switch to the hole cannon. Whatever. No, that's the... No. Okay, apparently supposed to be that way or something I have no idea um that's kind of bizarre I guess to cover their backs would make sense but weird whatever okay um so basically I decided to do this Soviet defense um and I thought it looked kind of cool uh so what we've got here is we've got one IS-2 um and I actually I don't that might be a GSM mod thing because it look it looks a little different than vanilla I think it might be or it might not be I'm not sure I haven't played the game in a long time like <laughs> vanilla so I wouldn't know any longer I've been playing a lot of modded M or Assault Squad 2 so who knows uh, it certainly looks good either way uh, most of the, mostly the um, the character models are um, from the GSM mod. I'm having trouble coming up with words today. Um, but most of the tanks are vanilla. Uh, we've got a little AA gun here for the Soviets. Um, then over here we've actually got an MG42 stand and uh, it was quite common uh, for the Soviets to sort of salvage um, German guns and stuff so it, it sort of makes sense that they have an MG42 uh, you know, if they found a tank that wasn't completely destroyed, they'd repair it and use that. Uh, so it wasn't unheard of. And then they've actually got a British um, Vickers over here. Don't know why I did this either. Um, this one definitely doesn't make sense. Maybe the British lended it, lended it to them or something. Who knows? Uh, and then we've got some guys in the bushes and some barricades and stuff. Um, oh, I should really put myself offline when I'm making a video. <laughs> you guys have told me that a couple times, and I should actually listen. Um, but that's okay. Uh, so over here for the Germans then, uh, we've got a couple of troop carriers. These are from the GSM mod. Uh, they look definitely very nice. We've got some elite soldiers in there. Uh, but these two vehicles I don't think are from GSM. Uh, this is the Panzer 4H, and this is the Panzer, uh, I think 3G, right? Yeah, boy. Let's see. Control shift D. Um... Yeah, 4G. All right. Um, the 4G looks the same, but the um, Osphage here has like this weird grill on the side, so maybe, maybe the H is different. But yeah, uh, I don't know if this one wave is going to be able to defeat the Soviets. We'll certainly see. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, we'll get started here. Press start. All right. Let's see what goes on. Ooh, Osphage already down. Uh, troop carriers are unloading their their men. Let's try and take out the G here. A lot of small arms fire going on. I definitely think the IS-2 is just going to be the hardest. Oh, maybe the Osphage isn't dead. Let's try and fix that. The, uh, oh, there we go. Now it's dead. The Soviet anti-aircraft gun is completely down. Let's get some guys back on those barricades. This guy's in a hole. Um, MG-42 is down. Uh, Vickers is still nice and alive, though. We gotta take out those, um, pieces of armor there. Ooh, I'll be right back. The phone's ringing. One second. Sorry about that, guys. It was an out-of-area telemarketer. I'll try and take out this G. There we go. Main gun and turret destroyed. Um, those aren't really the threats, though. It's the, uh, troop carriers. Alright. I'm gonna try and take out this Osp G again. Come on, reload. Come on. Nope, nothing. Hmm. We've gotten like a little closer. 
don't want to run over that MG because I'm planning on picking it back up. Maybe we gotta take out some of these troop carriers. It's all the small arms fire that's taking out our men. There's nothing our men can do about it because it's all vehicles. All we got to take them out either is the IS-2. Which is just taking its merry time doing it. Um, Alright. Just let it reload. Oh, they're moving forward. Oh, jeez. Oh, golly. Let's try and nail them on the side. Come on. There we go. No, big miss. Oh, one of our guys over here actually has a launcher. Reload. Oh, I missed. I'm so sorry, buddy. I, I kind of led to your death. Alright, come on. We need you, IS-2, to do something for us here. It's too bad of an angle. You can't hit it. There we go. That is what I am talking about. One of the crew members. Oh, should we just ram it? Let's do it. Oh, we killed the gunner. I'm not gonna be able to kill that. Come on, reload. There we go. <laughs> Point blank. Oh, we have so many guys over here. Try and pepper them with some machine gun fire. Oh shit, no! Oh, Ice 2 is down. It's bad, bad news. Alright, our last three guys, we gotta retreat. Retreat! Get back! The Germans have overrun our position. Get back. We must await reinforcements. Even though that's not a Russian accent. Get back, comrade. I can't do accents. <laughs> oh, God. Get back. We must defend our position. But we cannot do it if we are dead. Something like that. I don't know. Even though they did have the no-step-back policy. But this, this was before that, I like to think. Probably not. I don't know. Considering IS-2s were in there, it was probably later war? I don't know. Um, Alright, I will be right back with something special for you guys. This battle is not over. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, so, the Germans over here, who I still have to do something real quick. i got to put them on uh, free fire mode. One second. Um, una momento. Movement mode hold. Fire mode open. Uh, so, essentially... What has happened is the Germans took over this um, this Soviet base and has um, quickly sort of set up defense around these rocks for the Soviet counterattack. They got some men in this tower. Uh, they got some guys all over the place, uh, including a um, T5, which is really a Panther. It's just a GSM thing. I'm pretty sure it's a Panther. Looks like one. I think it is. Uh, and then the Soviets back here have um, gathered some more men for a charge forward, and they were also able to scrap together a couple T-3457s. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Um, let's start sending some men forward. Attack! Go, comrades! We must kill the Germans! Go for the motherland! Oh god, I have the worst accents. <laughs> I can't do it. Alright, go! Let's see what happens here. I don't know if these T-34... Or... Uh, T-34-57s are gonna be able to do anything against a panther. And that one didn't at all. Come on, give me something. Oh, I missed. Back it up, back it up, yo. Turret destroyed, that's fixable. Oh, our men are just being massacred. Back it on up, yo. Oh, jeez. This one is just on fire. <laughs> our men are getting slaughtered. Get to cover! Oh, my God. No, this thing's done. Gonzo. Alright, we need reinforcements. Stat. Let's get some more men up here. Alright, men. Let's get... No, it's a... No. Sure. 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 
cool. Alright. We need men in these tanks, boys. Go, go, go. Shuja Commandier. Got an 85, a 57, and a 41. Hopefully that does something. No, let's wait for when we're all ready to charge. Oh, these guys are on... Still on... Oh, no, no. Wait, hold up. Hold your horses. Because I spawn these in before I change the fire mode. Open, movement mode, free. There we go. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Alright, the T-3485 is ready. The, the last Soviet charge, they were at fire at will mode. Um, I just forgot to set these guys because I had them off because the battle was on. No! Okay, that one's done. This one's flanking. Oh my goodness. A tank after my own heart. We gotta get all the way behind here. Go, men. Get to the cover. So we got this T-3485. I just shot a rock. GG. Get in there. For the motherland. Ooh, here we go. Bye bye Yes! Ammo is burning. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Now we just gotta play clean up on these Germans. One left. What's his name? Gross. Maximilian Gross. Oh, Maximilian's dead. Damn it. <laughs> Poor Maximilian. Alright, guys. Uh, thanks for this battle. It was a bit of a... Um... Like, less awesome one. Um... No, I thought, I thought it was fun. Um... But usually they're a little bit more elaborate than just a... A hill defense. Sometimes they're not. Uh, I just I just wanted something, a quickie today. I I didn't want to spend 30 minutes on a video um, recording session at least because um, I got some homework I got to do. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, leave some comments on what you guys want me to do. Um, always looking for some of that good feedback. Why don't we look look at the um, kill rate here? Uh, so right off the bat here. Sorry, another steam message. I should really... Ah, another one. Um, I should really go offline. But there's uh, just massive Soviet deaths. Seriously? Ah, oh, damn it. Um, uh, massive Soviet deaths probably because um, they weren't, you know, super elite soldiers. A couple of them were, but most of them were just sort of regular. Um, I really thought that... Um, oh, it's disappeared. No, wait, it's down here. I really thought that um, IS-2 was going to do so much more than it did, but, um, I mean, yeah, it did good. It was able to take out two tanks on its own, and, um, um, two of the, or three of these SDK FZs 251s, so, I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> it did its job, I just stupidly got knocked out by one of these paratroopers or whatever. Uh, our infantry didn't do a lot. I mean, we did, we were able to take out a couple of these things, but, or a couple of troops, but... I mean, the problem was that there was so much machine gun fire coming from armored vehicles that our IS-2 wasn't able to take them out, and the armored vehicles were just mowing our men down. So, I mean, yeah, that that was really the big problem. Um, for some reason... Oh, that's because... This one's not actually dead. Let's see. Can I get it to explode? just says off the vehicle. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the self-destruct on there. Uh, but then when we come over here... We see a lot more German deaths. Germans are in yellow, by the way. Um, mainly because we... Oh my god, another Steam message. Completely wiped them out. Um, but then there was a lot of Russian deaths as well. We lost a lot of Russian tanks and stuff. Uh, the Germans are kind of like the clones. And, oh, it did um, blow up over here. Interesting. Um, the Germans are kind of like the clones. And the um, Soviets are kind of like the droids in that. Soviets, you got to have a lot more men to take over... And, um, Germans are more powerful, but require less men. Alright, <laughs> so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, read, and subscribe if you did. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.